good afternoon guys good afternoon we are gonna have the second menti quiz sorry it's not the menti quiz it's from ahaslides.com and we have given a new name that is the questopedia and guys to join go to ahaslides.com and use the call 3c889 and do like share and subscribe our youtube channel by a point in the world of bio and if you like this video do hit the like button now itself do hit the thumbs up now guys join fast join right now we have changed from menti to ahaslights.com because of uh, because of your request to increase the number of questions is that clear okay guys moving on to the next page with the whole hearted support of you all and the new supporter ahaslights.com moving on to the next page it's waiting for the players seven participants have logged in guys enter your name go to ahaslights.com and use the code 3z889 join fast guys join fast okay guys we do have the seven supportive participants okay shalini by a point high for me jaswin nazreen nila and nakeshwari okay guys moving on to the quest okay guys we need to have entered as new student new participant okay start the quest question 1 out of 15 answer question answer more questions as fast as possible to score more points the lady cells are found in the human body are the secretory source of glucagon androgen progesterone intestinal mucus what fast guys 20 seconds remaining only 3 have voted the rest do it Ten seconds remaining, and five, four, three, two, one, and your time's up. The answer is shown, and five students have answered it correctly. Congratulations, all! Five students have voted it right. Okay, so the Leydig cells, as found in human body, are the secretory source of androgens. Let's see. The most awaited first player about of the day with Jasmine as the first player. Congratulations, Jasmine! The second by point high for me, who is always being in the second position in the previous menti as well. Third, Nakeshwari. Fourth, Nila. Fifth, Nazreen, and sixth, Shalini. Okay, congrats, Jasmine. By point, Nakeshwari, Nila, Nazreen, and Shalini. Moving on to the second quest. Second question of the quest for the day. in a normal pregnant woman the amount of total gonadotropin activity was assessed the result expected was high levels of fsh l and lh in uterus to stimulate endometrial thickening high level of circulating hcg to stimulate estrogen and progesterone high level of circulating fsh and lh in the uterus to stimulate uh, something something it's not given completely right okay and the fourth option high level of Circulating HCG to endometrial to stimulate endometrial thickening, and only two students have voted it right. High level of circulating HCG to stimulate estrogen and progesterone synthesis. Moving on to the second leaderboard of the day. Let's check. And finally, by points, got the second first position change in the leaderboard with one sixty five points. Jasmine. along with him scoring along with him within the second position nakeshwari third position shalini fourth vinila fifth nasreen sixth and vineet with zero points in the seventh position moving on to the third question of the day after which we will display the leaderboard on our telegram group so stay tuned and stay updated with our telegram group join our telegram group by a point this for the sweet 2020 2021 and 2022 batch third question of the day 
answer questions to get more rewards. Signal for parturition originate from. Get ready and answer. Placenta only, fully developed fetus only, both placenta as well as fully developed fetus, oxytocin release from maternal pituitary. What passed, guys? Wrong answer gives no points, whereas right answer gives more points. And if you are joining now, go to ahaslides.com and use the code 3Z889. Okay, everyone has voted. And what is this, guys? Only two students have voted it right that both placenta as well as fully developed fetus and all uh, five students have voted it wrong. What happened to you guys? Moving on to the most awaited third leaderboard of the day. By points still stands first with 255 points. Just went second with 90 points. Nagyev Shri third with 86 points. Vinit came to the fourth position with 79 points. Shalini fifth with 69 points. The last six, uh, sixth with 53. Nazreen in the seventh position with 27 points, 26 points, and moving on to the fourth question of the day. Okay, guys, stay updated with our Telegram group. We have uploaded the leaderboard of this question, the third question, in that in our Telegram group. Moving on to the fourth question of the total 15 answer fast, you get more rewards. Which one of the following statements is false in respect to the viability of mammalian sperm? Get ready and answer. Viability of sperm is determined by its motility. Sperms must be concentrated in a thick suspension. Sperm is viable for only up to 24 hours. Survival of sperm depends on medium and is more active in and it's not completed so that I cannot read it. Okay, guys, four students have made it right, whereas three made it wrong. What happened to you three guys? Please check it. Please answer it correctly. Okay. Answer it. Vote it correctly. Read the question and the options very carefully. Moving on to the fourth leaderboard of the day. Let's check. And still, bio points stands first with 341 points. Second, Nila with 110 points. Third, Vinit with 104 points. Jaswin, what happened, boy? With 90 points. Nakeshwari with 86 points. Nasreen with 75 points. Shalini with 69 points. Tans in the 7th position. And these are the leaderboard of our 7 players. Moving on to the 5th question of the day. Answer fast to get more points. Which one of the following statements is correct? So get ready and answer. What the correct answer now? FSH and LH occur in both males and females. FSH and LH stimulate the follicle to secrete estrogen. Ovarian cycle depends on blood levels of FSH and LH. All of these are correct. And everyone has voted. Five students have voted it correct. And moving on to the most awaited fifth leaderboard of the day. Who is these two students who are making it wrong? I want you to study this chapter very clearly. Is that clear for you? Moving on to the fifth leaderboard. And still by a point stands first. What happened? Jaswin, you moved to the seventh position. What happened, Jaswin? Vineet came to second. Congratulations, Vineet. Nageshwari in the third position with 148 points. Congrats, Nageshwari. Good going. Shalini, fourth position. Awesome to see. Uh, nice to see you, Shalini. Nazreen, fifth. Nila, sixth. And Jasmine in the seventh position. Jasmine, you should come up. You should come up. I hope it's some network issue because the participant number is reduced to six. I hope it's some network issue. Moving on to the next question. Sixth question, whose data board will be displayed. Short-lived immunity acquired from mother to fetus across placenta through mother's milk to the infant is categorized as cellular immunity, passive immunity, active immunity, and innate immunity, innate non-specific immunity. So get ready and answer the question. 
word it right now at ahaslights.com and use the code 3Z889. And everyone has answered and five students have ordered it right and two made it wrong. Who are those two students? I want to know it. Moving on to the leaderboard. Still biopoint stands for... What is biopoint? Biopoint, please. Leave space for someone. Let some others come first. We need with 232 points stands in the second position. Good going, we need. Nesreen in the third position. Do not reach. Nakeshwari, where are you? The fifth position. Okay. Nila, Nakeshwari, Shalini, and Jasmine. Jasmine, your score has been increased. Shalini, 138 points. Shalini, good going. Come first. Okay, guys. Moving on to the next question. Most awaited seventh question of the day. Okay, guys. Seven questions. Okay. This question rewards more points for fastest answers. The part of Philippian tube closest to the ovary is. Get ready and answer what now? Infantibulum, isthmus, ampulla, cervix. Guys, what now? Seven out of seven participants are there. Five have voted. 20 seconds remaining. Word fast. Guys, if you're joining now, go to hustlife.com and use the code 3Z8899. Sorry, 3Z889. And everyone has answered. Let's check. Three students only have ordered it right. And whereas uh, four students have made it wrong. What happened to you all? Let's check it. The leaderboard. Still by a point stands first and the fastest player is Nageshwari. Congratulations, Nageshwari. And we need come back to the second position. Nageshwari, just stay there. By point, leave the place for some other persons. Okay, by point, congratulations with 580 points. Nageshwari, Vineet, Shalini, Nesreen, Nila, and Jasmine. Jasmine, what happened to you again? Network error. Moving on to the eighth question of the day. Let's check. About which day in a normal human menstrual cycle does rapid secretion of LS normally occurs? 5th day, 11th day, 14th day, 20th day. 20 seconds remaining, guys. Fifteen seconds more. Six students are awarded. Come fast, guys. Come fast. Three, two, and one. I think again, Jasmine is facing the network problem too. That's why three have ordered it right. Okay, two made it wrong, and one again made it wrong. Totally three made it wrong, and three made it right. Let's check the leaderboard of the day. By a point, zero points. That means by a point made it wrong. Nakeshwari in the second position with 3.7 points. And the fastest player, Nila, with 284 points. Next, Vineet in the fourth position. Vineet, why are you decreasing your scores? 280, 232 points. Shalini with 221 points in the fifth position. Nazreen, 203 points in the sixth position. And Jasmine improved 171 points in the seventh position. Jasmine, you were the first player in the first question. What happened to you? Moving on to the ninth question of the day. Let's check. Question nine out of 15. Ovulation in human female normally takes place during the menstrual cycle. Get ready and what now? At the end of proliferative phase, at the beginning of proliferative phase, just before the end of secretory cycle, at the mid secretory phase. 20 seconds more. What now? If you are joining now, go to ahaslides.com and use the code 3Z889. Five seconds more, guys. Five seconds more. Three, two, and one. Your time's up. Let's check who is the fastest player and who stands first. 
three made it wrong and three made it right let's check the answer sorry let's check the leaderboard nine leaderboard displaying on your telegram group as well so stay tuned and see updated with our telegram group let's check is there any changes oh my god my point is having some network issue i think so but still with his points he has scored in the previous position he stands first yoshi i don't know who is Nakishwari in the second position with 348 points. Nila 284. Vini Jaswin Jaswin came back to the fifth. Congrats, Jaswin. Shalini 221. Shalini, good going, but you should come first. Nesreen, come first. Okay, Nesreen, good try. You should come first. Nesreen and Shal Nesreen, Shalini and Nila made these questions wrong. Okay, so concentrate, focus. Going on to the tenth question of the day, you have. Six more questions, awaited questions. Let's check which all are they. Question ten out of fifteen. This question rewards more points. Uh, which of the following structures are derivatives of n dot term? Get ready and what now? In a nerve cord, elementary canal and respiratory structures, muscles and blood, expiratory and reproductive structures. Twenty seconds remaining. Vote now, guys. Fast. Come on, come on. Five seconds remaining. Six students have voted. One and your times up. All have voted. Four students have made it right. One made it wrong. Three made it wrong. Four and three. Okay, let's check the leaderboard of the day. The ten leader board. Let's check it. Again, still by point stands first. But what is this by point? And the fastest players are Vineet and Nakish. Very by point high for me. Still stands first. I think he is facing some network issue with zero points. I mean zero points added to the existing scores. Nagesh Vidhi, good going. Vineet, good going. Shalini, Nilan, Nesreen and Jaswin. Jaswin, come back. Moving on to the 11th question of the day. You know, my thought is uh, drying. Calling out all your names. 11th question of the day. This question rewards more points for fast answers. Sift, E-Z-I-F-T, E's. Get ready and one now. Transfer of mixture of sperms and ova into the fallopian tube. Transfer of embryo into the uterus. Transfer of zygote into the fallopian tube. Transfer of mixture of sperms and ova into the uterus. 15 seconds remaining and vote now. Only one more students need to be voting and I feel it's by a point because he was scoring zero points with, I think, facing with some network issues. Let's check. Who's that? Three, two, and one. Time's up. Four and two. Four students answered it right. And these two two students, I don't know who they are. You should improve yourself. Okay. Moving on to the leaderboard. Nakishwari with 495 points. Good going. Fastest player. Vineet and Jasmine. Vineet with 443 points. Jasmine with 321 points. Charlene, Nasreen and Nila. Five point still stands first with zero points added to the score. Nageshwari should try hard, strive hard to defeat by a point high for me. Okay, Jasmine, you were the first player and you should come back. So let's check. Let's move on to the next question. Twelfth question of the day. At the time of implantation, the human embryo is called. Get ready and what now? Now, now, now. Zygote, blastocyst, embryo and fetus. 20 seconds remaining. 19, 18, 17, 14 seconds. 13 seconds, guys. What now? What now? What now? Six students have voted. Let's check. Two, three, and one. Your time's up. 
four students have already right so let's check the leaderboard 12th leaderboard display it on your telegram group check now and nagishri come to the first position defeated by a point by five points by a point high for me in the second position with 580 points beneath next is your time it's your turn to defeat by a point nagishri 585 points 90 points and the fastest player jasmine in the fourth position with 413 points we need in the third position with 523 points nazreen shalini and nila nazreen shalini and nila good going but you should improve let's move on to the 13th question of the day good going guys good going keep it up Not only cells are nourishing cells in the testes; they also secrete a hormone. Identify the scene. Inhibin, gonadotropin, testosterone, relaxin. Twenty-one seconds more, guys. Nineteen, eighteen, six students awarded. Word fast. Ten seconds more. and everyone has answered only one student answered it correctly let's check who is that gonadotropin and testosterone those are wrong answers six rated and who is that one student that brilliant student who answered it in heaven let's check it the leaderboard Just when answered it rightly, the fastest player and the most brilliant among these. He was facing some network issues, that's why he remained in the fourth position. Nageshwari first 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 position with five eighty five points by a point. We need Jaswin for seventy points. Nasreen, Shalini, and Nila. Good going, guys. Moving on to the fourteenth question, the second last question of the day. And Vinit, it's your turn to defeat. You should defeat them, especially by a point and Nakeshwari. Okay, let's check the most awaited question. Answer fast to get more points. The type of connective tissue that is associated with the umbilical cord is. Get ready and what now? Adipose tissue, jelly-like connective tissue, areolar tissue, reticular connective tissue. Twenty-three seconds remaining. Twenty seconds remaining. Fifteen, thirteen, and everyone has won. Well Let's check. Two made it right. Five made it wrong. Let's check the second last leaderboard of the day. Whether there is any changes, anyone to defeat Nageshwari and by a point. Let's check. The most awaited second last leaderboard. By a point, back to the first position. Oh my God! With six seventy-one points, Nakeshwari in the second position with five eighty-five points. Vineet in the third position with five sixty points. Jasmine, Nasreen, Shalini, and Nila. And the last question. Let's check it. And so far, you get more points. The final ultimate question of this twist of India series of for today. Let's take the chemical substance released by spermatozoa that acts on brown substance of the follicle cells. It's known as. Get ready and vote now. Progesterone, hyaluronidase, relaxin, gonadotropin. Let's check it. Fifteen seconds remaining. What now? What now? What now? I hope by point or Nageshwari must be the first player, first winner. Let's check who is that. Three, two, and one. Your time's up. Five students have made it right, and only one student made it wrong. I need this. I need the wholehearted cooperation. Let's check the final most awaited leaderboard for the day. 
So let's check whether by a point or Nageshwari, we need Jaswin, Nila, Shalini. Who stands first? Let's check it. By a point is the winner. My God. Nobody is there to defeat him. The second position by Vinet, Nakeshwari, Jaswin, Nasreen, Shalini, and final Nila. Okay, guys. Good going. Congratulations to all the winners. Good going, guys. Keep it up and do participate in all the Menti quiz, all the quizzes of our slides. We were doing the Menti quizzes, that's why every time in my mouth coming as Menti. Okay, so. It's your new presentation or the new website, ahaslides.com and the code will be changing for each quizzes which we will be uploading you for you in the Telegram group. And the first seven participants can join right there. And if you like this video, do hit the like button now. Share this video with your friends. Do subscribe to our channel, BioPoints in the world of bio. And any doubts, comment us in the comment section and regard your feedback, regard your feedback in the comment section. Okay, guys. It's me signing off from your favorite and my favorite BioPoint stream the world of bio. Bye.